a blessed Friday to us. This beautiful passage or set of verses for our gospel reading today actually is interestingly interpreted in the sense that during the time of Jesus, even those who are on the lookout have actually a separated vision or view of who Jesus and who John the Baptizer was. And it actually separated people who actually would like to sympathize or would like to believe or would reject uh, on the other side. Now, this, there is a very interesting dimension here that I would like to emphasize, especially in the invitation of the group of children saying, we played a flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not mourn. Now, playing the flute and dancing is actually descriptive of joy. Dirge and mourning is descriptive of sadness or sorrow. Now, our lives practically are put in the middle of these two feelings, joy, sadness. But then the gospel reading or the gospel invitation for the message of salvation is to be consistent because there are times, according to the book of Ecclesiastes, there is a time for everything. So when there is mourning, then we have to feel sad about the, with, together with the mourners. And if it is joyful, we have to rejoice. Dili nga, it's joyful, for example, in the prayer meeting, no, the, the song is very joyful, and then you are doing like that. No? You are not involved. No? In other words, the challenge of the gospel message is to, be, to get involved, but it varies from one feeling or situation with another. After all, following the Lord is not all about happiness only. No, there are so many different and even serious challenges that we have to bear that does not give us joy and happiness in the end, but it just puts us into certain you know, gloominess or sadness. But there is always a time for everything. And I think this is one interesting thing that we have to put in the context of Advent. Now, there are moments in our celebration and preparation that Advent requires us to be actually, you know, in, in a state of sorrow because of our sins. That is precisely what the season of Advent is all about in the first place. But then there is also joy. You know? So it's a question of shifting from one gear to another, and it completes the whole picture. After all, everything that we respond in as much as the coming of the Lord is concerned, not only about refreshing our minds and hearts of his first coming, but also preparing ourselves for the second coming, it's a mixture of everything. And if it's a mixture of everything, it is very interesting and exciting anyway. So we thank the Lord for these great challenges and occasions in our lives because because of being able to adjust from one state of mind to another, it makes us a very creative and the wholeness of the person that we are as God, God's gift to the world and to each other and for ourselves becomes even more remarkable and beautiful. Amen. <laughs>